Hello and welcome to another installment of Renault's Product Review. We are here today for your entertainment presenting a very special video on one of the finest and most detailed layouts in the world. Built and created by master layout builders Joseph Brandel and Thomas Oswald, owner of MBZ Structures. It is very rare to see a detailed display of a Joseph Brandel layout, so we are very excited to share this video with our loyal viewers. Together, these two masters created the incredible Hogsfordfeld or Black Forest layout owned by Dieter Berthold. The layout took many years to complete and is considered one of Joseph Brandel's best layouts. Now let's take a closer look at this masterpiece called the Huxfordveld layout. Dieter Bertelsmann has built a fabulous model railway near the town of Freiburg in Brisgau in southwestern Germany. The fabulous Hochschwarzwald model railway represents the famous Hulentalbahn or the Hell Valley Railway, which lies in the Black Forest. The towns of Freiburg Weire and Neustadt are modeled as the spectacular Ravenna Viaduct and the Gutach Bridge. Kapel Gutak Brucke station is represented by a hidden staging yard. Also modeled is the branch line between Kapel Gutak Brucke and Bondorf. There was a reversing station at Lenskirch and trains could proceed to Bondorf only after the engines had switched ends. Looking at the track plan, typical operations involve a train emerging from the staging yard to enter Freiburg Weihra. Moving out, it passes over the Ravenna Viaduct before making it to Neustadt. From here it passes over the Gutachbrücke and enters the staging yard via the Finsterbühle Tunnel. The staging yard lies below the station of Bondorf. It represents the station of Kapel Gutachbrücke and the rest of the line to Donaschingen. Alternatively, trains can also move on to Lenskirch through the staging yard. Upon arrival at Lenskirch, the engine has to run around the train before it can proceed to Bondorf. The layout is housed in a typical black forest barn and creates an ideal setting with its high ceilings. We pick up an early morning passenger coming in from Freiburg and on its way to Neustadt over the Ravenna Viaduct. Thank you. 
Mr. Bertelsmann's dream was to have a layout created in the 1920s era, depicting life and how it was at that time in the Black Forest region of Germany. This layout is an accurate display of where Mr. Bertelsmann grew up as a child. The track, signals, and turnouts on the layout were all handmade, representing how everything looked in the Black Forest era of Germany during the 1920s. Manufacturers on the market today don't produce these items accurately, so everything else had to be built from scratch. Construction of the Hulentalbahn was started in 1882, and Neustadt station was inaugurated in 1887. By 1901, the line to Donaschingen was completed and Neustadt became a through station. A goods shed and loading ramp was constructed for the mixed freight serving Neustadt. Black Forest was famous for its clocks and there was a clock factory nearby. The Hotel Neustadterhof was opened in 1899 and still stands today in spite of a major fire in 1975. In 1930, the line from Freiburg to Neustadt was electrified. Trains proceeding to and from Donaschingen had the traction changed here. A three-stall shed was constructed for housing the electric locomotives. The steam and diesel locomotives got a two-stall shed. The scenery is simply remarkable, as each tree was handmade by Mr. Brandle to produce such a realistic landscape.
Over 100 structures were accurately built by MBZ using laser technology. Each structure was built from original blueprints, taking years of research and development to complete construction. We offer all the structures on the layout under MBZ on our website. Click this link to view our entire lineup. The line to Bondorf was opened in 1907 and saw service for 70 years before it was closed in 1977. The track was removed and there exists a biking path in its place today. Lenskirch was famous for its clock-making industry and was home to the Lenskirch Clock Factory founded in 1851. The St. Nicholas Church Tower is another landmark in Lenskirch and has been faithfully modelled on the layout. The station buildings and track layouts of Lenskirch and Bondorf have also been very accurately recreated. At its peak, the Bondorfer Bahn, as it came to be known, would see five pairs of trains daily. These trains would stop at almost all the stations on the route from Freiburg, and the journey would take almost three hours. There was a lot of freight on the line as well, and we pick up one here, entering Lenskirch. This video was created by our friend Vikas Chander from India. Mr. Chander is also a master model railroader who has created an incredible German Deutsche Bundesbahn layout called a Benstern, which we'll be presenting soon. Mr. Chander did an amazing job filming and editing this video, making it one of the best layout presentations on YouTube. No model railway is ever complete, and the Hochschwarzwaldbahn is no exception. Work continues on the freiburg Vajra section of the layout. The tracks have been laid and tested, while the structures based on actual buildings in the area have also been completed. Dieter enjoys tinkering around the layout, as any model railroader does, and continues to improve upon its various aspects. Josef Brandl is the person behind all the beautiful landscapes seen on the layout and will be working on the freiburg Weyra section as well. The layout has seen a lot of press attention in Germany and rightly so. 
It is indeed a fabulous model railway and I feel privileged to have had the opportunity to visit it. This concludes our presentation on the Hoxford Veld layout. Reynolds offers publications on all famous Joseph Brendel layouts. The publications are so inspiring because Joseph Brendel is simply a master artist. To view our incredible selection, click here. We also stock all the MBZ structures and accessories featured on the Hogsford Veld layout. To view our MBZ selection, click on this link. Lastly, we offer all the locomotives and cars which you see running on the layout. Most of the locomotives are models offered by Brava, Lilliput, and Trix. To view our endless selection of awesome locomotives, visit our website, Reynolds.com, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. Thank you for watching.